From the heart of Philly, this is CBS News Philadelphia. Laws are being broken, communities are being terrorized, and people are getting hurt. This is not a game and we'll track you down. That's the message from law enforcement to everyone involved in the illegal and chaotic car meetups in Philadelphia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off tonight. An 18-year-old driver was shot and killed by Pennsylvania State Police as they tried to break up a car meetup that shut down I-95 near Penn's Landing that included drivers doing burnouts and racing and setting off fireworks. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden has new information about what happened and the plan to deal with drifting and burnouts as we move into the summer. Pure chaos. The behavior that we saw over the weekend is not only unacceptable, but it will not be tolerated. A detail of officers was scrambling to keep up as streets filled with high speed stunts and drag racing for four hours. Property was destroyed. Officers and civilians were assaulted, and countless, countless individuals had their lives put at risk because of the behavior. That we witnessed. Saturday night, state police estimated a thousand people shut down Interstate 95 at Penn's Landing, where there were more stunts. Fireworks were set off and shots were fired. A news conference brought stiff warnings from police and prosecutors. You got to cut it out. Police outlined at least five so called hot spots on Saturday night in the Northeast and North Philadelphia, where car meets took over intersections. Investigators confirmed one arrest was made, but warned more are expected. If anyone was participating in this activity, do not think for one moment that you got away with it. We are not done. Saturday night's chaos ended on the shoulder of I-95 when state troopers shot and killed 18-year-old Anthony Allegrini Jr. of Glen Mills. Investigators allege Allegrini failed to yield in his Audi and struck two troopers. The state police captain said one trooper fired a single shot through the windshield, killing Allegrini. Video from social media, too graphic to show here, reveals an armed trooper standing over a wounded Allegrini. Medics would later pronounce him dead right on the highway. An investigation on use of force is now underway. Meanwhile, Commissioner Danielle Outlaw said her officers were outnumbered this weekend, but promised it won't happen again. People have gotten this sense that Philadelphia is the place to come and do whatever I want, trash it up. Uh, you know, create all this, these safety issues for the residents here or people that want to come here and be here safely and leave, and that's unacceptable. Commissioner of Police Danielle Atlaw conceded the department has to get better in tracking social media with these car meetups in real time. She also says the department has to be more proactive and not just reactive. Outside the state police barracks, this is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.